Hi, Pre-K students. I have one more section to read you from the book, Where Did My Clothes Come From? And I think this one is my favorite because it's the one that was the most surprising to me when I read it. So I'm excited for you to see if this is something you already know or if you're surprised when you read this too. The section we're going to read is called, What Is Your Fleece Jacket Made Of? So think for a minute, do you have any ideas? Who has a fleece jacket? They're usually pretty soft and warm. If you have one, think, what do you think they might be made of? And I'm curious to see if you're surprised like I was or if you already knew this. This says, don't throw away your plastic bottles. If you recycle them, they can be turned into fleece. It takes about 12 bottles to make your fleece jacket. Did you see those 12 plastic bottles? They can use that to turn it into your fleece jacket. How do you think they could possibly do that? Any ideas? Let's look at all the different steps. It says, at the recycling plant, the plastic is sorted into different colors. Then it gets chopped into tiny pieces, washed, and dried. Okay, so that's how they get the plastic ready from the plastic bottles. Then here's step number one. It says the pieces are melted into a sticky syrup called polyester. So here it goes. It's getting heated up. And then look, this reminds me of what we saw on the page about the soccer uniforms too. They make those thin little strands. It says the syrup is squeezed through tiny holes and comes out as threads that cool and harden. Number three says the threads are then stretched out and put together and sorry, and put through a hot crimping machine, which makes the fibers crinkle. So instead of staying straight, they get crinkled up in the crimping machine. When they cool, they feel soft and fluffy like wool. Number four says the fibers are carded, spun, and dyed, then knitted into cloth. The cloth is then brushed hard on one side to make it fluff up. This says your fleece jacket keeps out chilly winds. Zip it up and stay snug. So what do you think? Was that what you thought fleece jackets would be made out of? Or did that surprise you like it surprised me? I'll be curious to have you tell me on their next Zoom call because I always found this to be very surprising. Um, and next time you wear a fleece jacket when it's cool out, you'll have to try to remember that. That if you are careful and you recycle your plastic bottles, they can be turned into something like a fleece jacket. We don't have to throw them in the garbage and create waste. It can be turned into something new that can be really nice for people to wear. I will talk to all of you soon. Take care and have a great day.